Hi everybody, Steve Griffiths here, developer of the MT Predictor software program. In today's MT Predictor video, I'd like to have a look at our new add-ons for Ninja Trader 8. This is Ninja Trader 8 here, and uh, these are our new MTP RT add-ons for Ninja Trader 8. We're in the final stages of uh, beta testing of these at the moment, uh, but that's progressing well. So I'd like to actually just show you a couple of the, the new uh, features we have in these Ninja Trade, uh, Trader 8 add-ons. For you guys who've been following us uh, for a while, we know we have our standard automatic trade setups as well as our trend indicator and obviously all our um, uh, manual tools you can use as well. But in our Ninja Trade Trader 8 add-ons, we have a couple of new setups. We have what we call a VS or a volume spike setup. That's where we look at a high volume spike that's gone beyond a prior level. Uh, and that indicates professional buying is coming to the market in the opposite direction. We also have what we call a holy grail trade setup, which you can see here has unfolded very nicely uh, a while ago. This is one we've been following in our uh, trading room for MT Predictor customers uh, only for, for quite a while now. <clears throat> so I'd like to have a look at that in a minute. Um, <clears throat> for you guys who follow Forex, this is actually Euro US dollar uh, daily chart. Um, volume is interesting on Forex, even though we have our volume spike uh, available on our Forex charts. Remember that Forex isn't really true volume, it's more of a trade count rather than actually volume where the actual number of uh, actual transactions are uh, traded and reported in the volume rather than the actual size of the actual uh, trades themselves. But nevertheless they can do some good trade setups as you can see here. But the trade setup I really want to look at is this holy grail trade setup. You can see it has HG in the um, set up there. So I'd like to uh, have a look at this and show you what it is. First of all, what is a Holy Grail trade setup? Well, we nickname it Holy Grail not because it has a high reliability or a high percentage of winners. We um, call it a Holy Grail because it has a high profit potential in relation to the initial risk. If I right mouse click over the blue buy bar here and place the analysis on, you can see that this then produces a target at what we call the typical Wave 3 WPT. The reason we like this is, as you can see, the euro has just hit this target just here this morning, is the profit was 8.3 times <clears throat> the initial risk. Remember, we use correct position sizing here to keep our initial risk small and under control. You can vary that uh, with different um, account sizes, and uh, you can set up your own accounts in there and different risk profiles if you wish. <clears throat> but that's why we nickname it the Holy Grail, is because it has the largest uh, profit potential in relation to the smallest initial risk. So what is it? Well, it's a um, a trade that catches the end of a wave two. For you guys who are um, know a lot about uh, Elliott Wave, you'll know that after initial wave one, the most common pattern in a wave two is a minor ABC correction. So if I right mouse click to Elliott Wave Intermediate, you can see we have an ABC correction coming down into here. This gives us our trade setup, but more importantly, <clears throat> if I clear this off, this unfolds at a larger degree Wave 2, which is what we have here. It's right in our, whoops, sorry, right in our Wave 2 W2 or, or B WPT there. In other words, if this is a Wave 2, we're then anticipating that we're then going to get a strong Wave 3. Wave threes are the strongest and longest waves in a completed five wave sequence. Therefore, as you've seen, if I place the analysis on, when the, we place the target on, we're not looking to go to the nearer targets as we have here. We're anticipating a wave three kind of swing. And that's exactly what the euro has just done. So it's done the wave two correction here up into the typical wave three WPT. This is the area where most wave threes are likely to, to go to. And as you can see, that produces a large move in relation to a small initial risk. The profit here is approximately 8.3 times greater than the initial risk. So I'll just go back to my default account there. We also have a new uh, trend indicator here. Remember, for you guys who've been following, we used to have our what we call our strong trend filter. That was like any other indicator; it was lagging. In other words, it turned uh, late because, uh, like most indicators, that is lagging. So you can see here, this setup would have been on an old red STF, which indicated a downtrend. Our new DP trend indicator works on our DPs or our decision points based on our major swings. These are our levels. You can see here, connected by our uh, black lines. 
So if I place a DP off this last pivot low here, you can see this would have given you the support zone of where you anticipated the euro was going to make a low. If I drag that across, you can see that's exactly what it did. So back in <clears throat> December last year, it made a low right at that uh, support zone. As the market started to rally off, this DP trend turned blue, therefore giving you permission to take a long trades. That allowed you to take that holy grail trade set up there. And as you can see, that turned blue a lot quicker than our old STF indicator there as well. So there are two new features in our new <coughs> uh, NinjaTrader 8 add-ons. And as you can see on this daily chart of the euro, this has produced a very nice trade here so far this year uh, with that holy grail long trade just hitting our typical wave 3 WPT for a nice 8.3R profit. Another market that I follow is the British pound because obviously being in the UK I like the GBP uh, US dollar. So let's have a look what... Um, has been going on with this again on a daily time frame. You can see here we had a DP buy back in March. In fact, it had two attempts on this. Here's our DP trend indicator. It went black at this particular point, giving us permission to uh, take either longs or shorts. Let's have a look at our first trade setup here on this blue buy bar here. Again, we use correct position size and keep our initial risk small and under control. Now, remember this. Uh, we can have losses with any trading system. So you can see here it would have taken you in and then taken you out. In other words, this would have been a losing trade. I'll say again, remember losses can and will and do happen. It's a part of all professional trading in that you can get uh, losing trades. So that would have been a minus one hour loss. That's why we use position sizing because when the losses come through, they kept small at what we call one risk unit. If I clear this off, we then had another DP buy here, actually on the very bar of the low. That was a great setup. Again, a black uh, DP trend indicator. Buys or sells uh, are there, uh, allowed to take there. Because if I just go back a stage, that was our last major swing pivot low. So this is the area where we're anticipating support to come in. This is our major support zone. And as you can see, this is why we had two buy attempts at this particular level. So let's see what's happened to this particular long trade setup. Right mouse click, analysis of the blue buy bar, which was the very bar of the low. Market went up, market came down, actually gave us a holy grail trade setup there. So there's another uh, trade setup in progress there, this time on a blue STF. But you can see the market has just clipped our decision point target there this morning. Just about clipped it this morning. But can you see why again these um, trades are good? Because this one has given a profit of approximately 7.1R or 7 point times greater than initial risk. So this 7R profit has more than made up for the minus 1R loss uh, there earlier. If you were perhaps now looking at this holy grail trade setup, you'd be anticipating the British pound was going to, to rally a bit further. If it was, that would be the typical way through WPT target. If that particular trade gets there, then the profit would be 6.3 times greater than initial risk. But I'm not particularly looking at that particular trade at the moment. I'm looking at this DP buy here. So as you can see, we have some good new tools in our um, MT predictor add-ons for NinjaTrader 8, where first and foremost, we can have a trend indicator that uh, gives you a, a, a better indication of the larger trend than our old STF indicator. In this case, on the pound, on the daily chart, gave you a lovely buy setup there. Remember, we still get losing trades, but that's where our correct position size and keeps our losses small under control. If I go back to the euro, <clears throat> we can see that the next uh, uh, new trade setup is our holy grail trade setup. Again, coming in with our DP trend indicator color here, market has just uh, reached the typical way three WPT for a nice 8R profit. So uh, a couple of examples here on our new uh, features that are coming in our new uh, add-ons for NinjaTrader 8. And I thought I'd have a look at some uh, Forex charts today because I do a lot on the USE minis because they're the, the markets I tend to like. But for you Forex traders, uh, some couple examples on some daily uh, Forex charts for you there to see how the indicators are working on uh, those Forex charts for you.